A. Don't wait until you're in dire straits to address your mental health. It should be maintained just like any other aspect of your life. Um, you should find outlets that can help you process through your emotions, whether it's an art project, getting to the gym, <clears throat> going for a walk in the woods, you know. Um, for me, listening to music really calms me down. Uh, whatever it is, figure out what your toolbox should be equipped with. In other words, things that will help you uh, navigate your emotions and process them in a healthy manner instead of just, you know, pushing them down, pretending they don't exist. For instance, binge drinking is not a healthy way to handle your emotional state. However, it is actually a pretty common one, whether it's binge drinking or just regular indulgence of uh, substances or food or things that kind of numb what's going on on the surface. Maintain your emotional health with intention so that you don't end up burning yourself out or having a mental breakdown or something that could completely derail all of your progress in other areas of your life. Um, you know, that is historically how we've managed mental health in this culture is waiting until it's, it's so bad that you have to look at it. Don't wait until it gets so bad that it's completely dominating your entire life. Uh, and I'll be honest, I, I did experience that myself. Um, it was the perfect storm of a million different things happening on top of a million other things that I hadn't dealt with already. And the universe made me stop and unpack all of it. Uh, and it was not fun. Um, so now I have tools that help me process my emotions on a daily basis. And um, it's taken me a long time to, to gather these tools and create this toolbox. But now that I have it, it is amazing and so abundant and helpful when I'm struggling emotionally. Um, and for me, it's, it's drawing, it's walking. I love walking, especially with music. Um, I love yoga and dancing, just like anything that moves energy. Um, so figure out what your, what the things are that help you process. A lot of times they're just whatever you're passionate about. But it's important to find things that are going to be accessible to you even in the worst state that you could be in. So for me, drawing with a pen and a paper is, is easier than pulling out a paintbrush and all the supplies. So I, that's what I go to as a creative person. Um, pick something that you can accomplish, you know, um, in any state of mind. So that's my thought for the day. Um, hope you're well. I'll see you next time.